Hi, my name is Aubrey and me and my partner Jessica will be teaching you how to make your robot back up and turn when it is bumped. We found this challenge on stemcentric.com. This tutorial was designed and maintained by Dale Yoakum, Engineering Program Director at Caitlin Gable School. To get to this challenge, first click on EV3 Tutorial. Next, you click on Weight Blocks. To replicate our solution in Mr. Yoakum's challenge, you must open up Mindstorm. Click on File, New Project, and Open. Now we will begin. Close Content Editor in the top right to give you more space. Now I'll go to the orange tab, the Flow Control tab, and select Loop. Go to the green tab, the Action tab, and select Move Steering. Put it in the loop, and select On. This makes the robot move forward. Go back to the Flow Control tab, and select Weight Block. Add it inside the loop after the Move Steering block. Click the stopwatch, and find the touch sensor. Then click Compare, and then State. Next, select port 1. We did this so that the robot will wait when it hits the object. Go back to the green tab, the action tab, and bring loop steering into the loop after wait. Select on for rotations under number of rotations. Type negative 1. We did this because it makes the robot back up so it doesn't turn into the object in front of it. Go back to the action tab and select large motor. Select port B, and on for rotations. Go to number of rotations and type in 2.37. 2.37 is equal to a 180 degree turn for a robot. Last, select infinity on the loop, or if you'd like, select to count and enter how many times you'd like the robot to loop. Thank you for watching. Here is our robot Evie in action.